Yo, 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 yo. I'm already on my legendary Rayman drip. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I made my drip in like 10 seconds, right? For Winter Champs. 10 seconds, I'm not even lying. 10 seconds. And it's actually my best drip yet. It's not even close to as bad as it, it used to be. Bro, it was these gauntlets. And it was like classic colors, right? So they were like perfectly blue. But my character was still like orange or whatever color Rayman is. I'm not trying to be racist. But yeah, I, I got so lucky, bro. Like I just let the drip gods just like... I, I let them take the wheel and it came out to be a, you know, happy little accident. That's what I like to call it. Anyway, that's just a little side quest, all right? The real, the real, the real point of the video, you guys read the title, right? It says, what does it say? Read it out with me, guys. I don't know the title yet, but hey, you guys, you guys probably know it, okay? And I'll take a wild guess. How I won winters, winter championships, okay? So let's talk about it. So basically, while while I'm like shaping up this Rayman, bro, not, not the Rayman, this Wushong, bro. They're both so ugly. Wushong is so ugly. Like, and not to be mean, but I'm, I know there's going to be a, a Wushong cosplayer out there who's going to look exactly like Wushong. And you're not ugly, but the Wushong himself is ugly. You know what I'm trying to say? Anyway, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm like off track. But that ass is done. Um... The, okay, so I'll tell you next game. Like I was saying, the secret sauce, the secret su success, bro. How I'm thriving in winter championships, man. Here, bro. So let me tell you the timeline. It was two v two, and I'm not. I'm not gonna say what we got or what we did, but let's just let's just forget it, okay? It's a story to be forgotten, not even be told to younger generations and down the line. But what I'm saying is. We just forget about what happened in 2v2 and then we go to 1v1 so since we did bad in 2v2 i didn't want to play the game and i played a different game and i didn't play brahal for a whole week i'm not even kidding maybe i got like five ranked games in yo this guy is just running from me get red oh get red okay i got like five ranked games in one day like um four another day but i, I literally some days i would go without playing like some of you may think i played for like um every day 10 hours a day and that like 10 times 7 is like 73 and then it's like you know what i'm trying to say but nope i did not touch the game no joke and i got really lucky not lucky but that's that's my most favorable back bracket i looked at bracket and it was like the hardest bracket i've ever gotten but i knew when i looked at it that i could win like i had to fight um well at first it was kind of hard I mean, it was easy at first, but then it got harder. But I had to fight, uh, let me think. Luna into Cody Travis into Sandstorm. And I looked at that and I'm like, wow, bro, I can actually do that. And so, you know, that's it. It's a secret to success. And now I'm going to piece up this uh, Reno. I'm going to finish him off. If he wants to get hit by Nair, damn. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks to what I did to Sandstorm. Sorry. Bro, I'm wilding out right now. Bro. Like, when I finish talking, like, I, I focus on the game so much more, and then they just start running from me. And then I realize they're running from me. And then I realize the trap I put myself into playing Brawlhalla this early in the morning. Come on. Alright, wait. I'm gonna hit a crazy clip. Crazy clip. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Yikes. Wow, that was... Hey, like the video for that, please. Hey, let's just say I switched it up a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. I'm on the Mordex now. And my sight? Dude, I never practice my sight. I just play for fun sometimes. But it is nasty. I'm not even lying, bro. I could whip this out one day and I would lose. I would get my ass handed to me. I would get 3 0'd or something like that. But I know that I would go out looking cool at least. I, I would hit one dodge read and I would be happy with the rest of my game. The rest of the set. The rest of the tournament, actually. Oh, yikes. I missed him for the ground pound. And. Yikes. He didn't kill me. So I kill you. See the game that we play? It's a dog eat dog kind of world cross. You gotta be careful out here, man. And. And I, I spared you, but not for long, bro. I spared you for a little bit. Yep. 
That that is how the game should always go. If he jumps off again, I'm gonna be so happy. My experimental MMR is gonna go up heaps, man. I'm so happy. Oh, I got the dodge, bro. This white gauntlets are the worst weapon. No cap, no no cap as those, bro. You get a you get a little read, and then all you get is a little spectacle to look at your opponent. He walks out of your your dodge read. Imagine scythe, and then you get a whole dodge. Like you perfectly read them, right? And then that happens to you. You just get thrown off stage, and then you have no jumps. Bro, how come he dodged down the first time, and then and then he likes to switch it? Bro likes to do a little, you know, disconnect. Thank you. And that's the end of the video, I guess. So, while I combo this guy's bot, you guys could go subscribe, uh, follow my Twitter, and I might stream on Twitch sometime soon. I say this so many times, but I might actually stream and I got game players bot. This is the saddest moment of my career. But it it'll pop up soon, or maybe it already did pop up, but go follow it. Please, bro. I'm starving. I'm starving for some clicks, man. Please, click me up. Yes. There we go. Anyway, bit more videos coming soon. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm peace out. Bye-bye. Love you all. Bye.